All right, so I'm going to do more Risk of Rain. Um, so this is what? The day after release? Uh, I guess there's stuff to talk about when it comes to the DLC. As it's a bit of an elephant in the room currently. I wasn't really aware um, of just what the sentiment on this has been, generally speaking. Um, I had my thoughts and, you know, those thoughts were in a vacuum, so to speak. Um, I wasn't really paying attention to the reception at all. I, you know, and by that I mean I wasn't reading anything. But it seems like, you know, some of the stuff I was saying seems to be, yeah, what most people are feeling. Um, biggest ones being that just the, co the amount of content I don't know if because it's rushed or whatever, but like, you know, each of these new survivors only having one new skill to unlock. You know, that was probably the first thing I said was like, a bit of a letdown. Um, and you know, the thoughts around Chef, the Cleaver, I think everyone's kind of saying the same thing as just this, the way the Cleaver works, just, it's not great. Um, but I guess more generally, yeah, the DLC is buggy. Um, some people have had really bad issues. Um, not that I've come across any ones that have been show-stopping, but apparently there's a scenario where, like, Mythrix is unbeatable. Um, so there's a bunch of stuff that's wrong with it. And it's gotten to the point where, like, the reviews are now mixed on the game. So that's a bit of a shame. And, you know, it doesn't help when... Um, I guess some of the dev team, I saw on, on X that, um, one of them was like saying, oh, that they had, <laughs> the response was more or less, oh, it was like jank that they allowed. That's never great. Um, and just now I read that like some countries, um, have had the price of the DLC adjusted somehow so they're recommending and they don't even list which regions so i guess i'll have to have a look how much i paid for the dlc but apparently now the dlc is cheaper in certain countries and they're just recommending people refund it um and then buy it again but i don't know hold on just had my headset battery cut out i need to swap it real quick Um, I mean, look, like, I kind of get that this brought a bunch of changes that people aren't happy with, and again, the bugs, definitely not great. I'm still having fun with it, so, you know, I'm gonna stick with it, but I think in future, I guess I was thinking about it is, I imagine their plan for this is they're gonna try and get money out of people on a very frequent basis, you know? It's like, I, w I don't want to use the term live service, but I guess recurring revenue by selling characters and levels. Um, which, you know, it's fine. Like, I like playing this game and I've sunk a lot of time into it, but I think for me to, you know, be invested in that and want to invest in that in future, they need to sort this stuff out. Because otherwise, it's just no better than the reason I stopped playing um, certain games. Because when they moved to that sort of model where they were trying to get recurring revenue from people constantly, um, the quality definitely dropped. And so when that happens, I kind of abandon ship and just not play it anymore. So it's not to say this is going to head in that direction, but if their plan truly is to go down this path of like releasing regular updates with characters and levels that they charge for, it can't release in the state that it's released in right now. And the content, you know, this is, this should be the bare minimum. Every survivor should have a kit of alternate skills, um, Steam achievements as well. They only did three new ones, which I know that a lot of people are like, who cares, but it's still one of those things that it's part of 
effort, you know, put in to giving the content a level of polish. Just a bunch of little things that would add up, you know, to making people not have the perception that, oh, this was just a quick buck they were trying to make. Like having a new um, splash screen, you know? I thought for the, like for the last DLC, I thought for sure that um, the landing page was going to be something different, but it's the one we've had this entire time. And just a little thing like that would go a long way in terms of, okay, a lot of time was put into this and, you know, it's easier to excuse bugs when it's like that. So I guess for me, you know, if people were to ask me, can I recommend this now? I'd be like, not really. I'm having fun with it. But had I known what I know now, probably would have been a thing that I would have waited for a Steam sale for. Anyway. Figured I'd say that, just given the state of things. I'm hoping that the bugs will get ironed out, but I don't know about some of the other stuff. I haven't exactly looked into some of the issues people have been experiencing. Like, apparently, just because of the engine being fundamentally moved to what the console um, version of it runs on, there's, like, issues with frame rates. Not, like, you know, the game performing badly, but more that everything is tied to frame rate, and so it causes weird behaviors. So, maybe I haven't noticed some of that stuff. Maybe it's happened to me already. Um, but stuff like items not being outlined in their color in the try shop, or, like, the gambling areas... That stuff is, yeah, it's, it, it's buggy. And I'm glad that enough people are, are having the same thoughts about Chef with the uh, primary attack. So that's hopefully something they'll change. Like I said before, all it needs to be is like, this is fine, right? But it's more, you know, when if you do a short range attack, the cooldown should reset instantaneously. So then you can do, like, short-range attacks and spam them like they used to be able to be spammed in one. But then it still gives a reason to do, like, this long-range blade. I think that's the biggest problem, is, like, when you're trying to do attacks to an enemy that's directly in front of you, um, you run out of cleavers, and then you're kind of... You're screwed. That's... I think that's all they need to do. Or just straight up just allow us to spam cleavers, just... I don't see a lot of use to being able to recall it at any point in its arc. It's like, I don't... I haven't found a meaningful way to use that. And that's because, yeah, the cooldown doesn't reset. So I don't get rewarded for recalling the cleaver early. I guess the next the next couple of weeks or so will, will be important for this game if they don't really address much in the next couple of weeks ugh, it's gonna be rough for people to want to invest in this game anymore or at least in future DLCs like it's, still, it's not like the player base is going to completely disappear. It's more like for any future content, I think it'll be a tougher sell for them. They'd have to make it way more significant.
Um, but if you have purchased the DLC, I'm sure it, it refers to non-American regions, that pricing update, but I would recommend checking how much you paid for the DLC and checking the Steam store, because it's, it's annoying. <laughs> they said that now the DLC is cheaper in some regions, but they don't say which regions, so it's kind of like, oh, what, you don't want people to refund? So, I'll see if I can find the actual list. But I, I doubt it's, you know, America. That's probably um, European countries. More than likely. Maybe Australia. Sometimes Australia gets covered in that stuff. Because we do pay extra for stuff here. Um, but I guess the other thing is, like, I guess the new items in general, um, the sentiment that I've seen is pretty lukewarm. Ranging from lukewarm to, well, people are disappointed. From what I've seen so far, um... I mean... I think that that's the thing, is, like, some people expect new items to always be on... The side of like you're gonna deal damage but i kind of dig some of the new ways that you can mitigate damage i think the problem is there aren't really new play styles or strategies so to speak with the new items they've added the only one i could have seen maybe being a thing was like the one that adds knock up but, other than that, I'm not sure. That's the thing with anything that's a roguelike with new content, is you need to make sure people can come up with new playstyles and item synergies when you're releasing a set of new items. And I just don't think they've done that that well with this DLC. This is just, you know, after three days of it, so maybe there's something that, um, hasn't been discovered yet. But I think that's part of the problem with why, like, the DLC has mixed opinions currently. I think I'm awesome at the game. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I really love this game, so I've played it a lot, <laughs> done all my characters on, um, on Eclipse. I'm still trying to get used to Chef. Uh-oh. They got Delicate Watch. <laughs> That's not good. Alright, as long as it's not heavy hitters, this is fine. If I get any sort of heavy hitter, I probably won't survive this. I think this is a better idea. How long have I been playing? Um, I've been on and off since the game released. Um, but... I... I don't know. I sunk, I'll check my profile out, like, number of hours. I'm gonna say it's starting to approach a thousand hours. But once I finished all the characters with their Eclipse, I took a break, um... For, like, about a year and a half, maybe longer. And then when they had that, uh, Devotion update, came back to it for a bit, and now I'm just checking it out again. Uh, but, I mean, I played the original Risk of Rain back in the day, like, it was fun. Uh 
uh, they're heavy hitters, but I guess as long as I avoid them, it should be okay. So here's what I'm hoping to see in the next couple of weeks is just most of the egregious bugs being fixed. I think they have to do that, but then maybe an acknowledgement of like some of the problems people have with the DLC to kind of win back some trust. So far, so good. Definitely movement speed. Uh, I don't see it. Alright, it's fine. Chef is as slow as multi, so you need movement speed. What roguelike games do I like to play? Um, So, though I don't play it much anymore, I'm massive on the Binding of Isaac. Um... Did Splunky 2 a couple years back. Um, though it's a favorite, I haven't really gone back to it because the whole process of the Cosmic Ocean in that game was, man, it was something else. But love that game. Uh, Hades, another good example of, like, roguelikes that I like. Um, and then, you know, deck building stuff as well. Like, I'm a fan of Baltro. Kind of a bit of everything, as long as it has some theory crafting to it, where you can kind of end up with something ridiculous. Um, and there's item synergies, I tend to check it out. But the gold standard for roguelikes, Isaac, this one, um, in terms of combat games like Hades. I like Dead Souls as well, I'm not Dead yeah, Dead Salt. What is it? Hang on. I'm bad at it. I couldn't get past the second difficulty, cause, but it's a good game. I play Call to the Lamb? I did. Um, that was alright. I think that could have used more content. I think it had a strong start, but towards the end it kind of got a little repetitive. I know I had a update, but I didn't check out the update. It didn't feel sizable enough. I want to go through the whole process again. Did they really get crowbar and and watch? <laughs> oh man. Did I hear about the DLC? Is that something new or is that like the content that's already been released to it? I believe they got like high damaging items. Uh, ooh, the 
Does that work with Lemurians? They technically do fire damage. But I don't think they apply burn. I think it's only if they apply burn. <laughs> that was a rat that did that. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. This is dangerous. Fine. Um, I'll go this. This will probably help. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you're talking about the DLC that's already released for it. I thought you meant something new. Yeah, I mean, I did see it, but again, it's just... I don't think there was enough content for me to want to go back and play through everything again. Um... But, you know, it looked neat. Something that I do want to check out uh, that just got its 1.0 release is Core Keeper. So that, that looks interesting. Okay, I, I kind of lucked out. I think the thing that's keeping me alive is the new item that's um, reducing the damage taken, but then turning it into a damage over time. This is what I mean. It's like, it's not that the new items are bad necessarily. It's just that they don't really give a new play style or like synergies that, you, that have a wow factor. I think that's the problem. Uh, yeah, this is probably the best thing to get. Oh, good. I got a razor wire anyway. All right. No good. I'm happy. Alright. That's fine. That does nothing for him. It does... I think there was a scrapper. So I'll probably trade for some focus crystals, because that's pretty decent on Chef. It makes his, uh... His oven fire just do ridiculous amounts of damage. Where the bulls at? Oof. Um, I'll go ATG. That new item has saved me. I think if, if I didn't have two of those, I would be dead already. The crowbar and delicate watch would make them one-shot me. Here a minute. Oh, no, it's fine. <laughs> I got scared for a minute. That's fine. They got ICBM, but 
they got, they got nothing. This is probably the best spot I could have gotten as a final spot. It'll take a while to get up the hill. The bulls probably will never never make it up, so I just have to deal with rats. Oh god. <laughs> Hold on. What's hitting me? I think I can reach that. Everything is fine. All right. Um, ba -ba -ba. I'll go with this. I'm curious. It, I would imagine it does work. But, like, the stacks would probably go up pretty quickly if I just use right click. I don't have drones on me to take full advantage of Drone Man, so I think this is probably best. Yes! <laughs> now moving normally. I'm gonna get to Mithrix and see if, um... If he truly is bugged. Because I think that's the thing that people are complaining about, is... You can get soft-locked. Okay, let's do some trades. I want to get rid of this. Please don't go over the edge. It's fine. Um, get rid of stun grenade. This just doubles up on what Chef does anyway. Don't need this anymore. I've ever checked out Space Prison. Uh, can't say I have. If it's a roguelike, I mean, maybe I just haven't heard of it. I've kind of become picky with roguelikes because just spoilt for choice, so. They have to be on a certain level. Um, I was thinking, should I go move speed? Nah, just go damage. Alright. I believe in the first focus crystal. I mean, lately I've been playing um, Like a Dragon because I've been playing the Yakuza games on and off over the last couple of years because I've had never checked them out. So I've almost gotten through most of them. I mix it up. It's just I play a bit of everything. There's a few retro games that I want to check out and then... Next month is uh, the new Zelda game. There's a bunch of other things coming out next month, but it escapes me. I'll get one into movement speed, and then that should be okay. I think I'm good.
Um, and then there was like all that stuff at the Nintendo Direct, though, you know, not something I'm going to buy on the Switch. There's the new roguelike morsels, I think it's called. That looked really cool, visually. But I don't think that one's out for a while. Eh, it's bleach seed. Wait, which one? That's void. That's the one. <laughs> Almost went through the wrong portal. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna go with just doing Cleave as close range where possible. So almost playing him like a melee character. Just, yeah. The amount of damage they do with focus crystals is actually pretty legit. The arm was all weird. I think I just need a feather and then I'll be good on my ability. speed. This one's pretty good too. It's not for every character, but with what I'm doing, it's pretty decent. Just throwing a cleaver out as you're doing close range damage. I think I got enough money for now. Okay, I guess this. Now that I think about it, this new item here, the one that knocks up, I think on Engineer it's, it'd probably be like the best use case for it because then the turrets, because of their fire rate and just being able to defend themselves better by having things get knocked up. Dude. <laughs> okay, that's pretty strong.
I think I got most of the stuff. Thank you. I'll do one more lap and then just go. I don't see a scrapper anywhere. It would have been nice to get one more of these. Just trading the monster tooth for it. Oh, there is a scrapper. Alright. Sweet. Um, in that case... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I think outside of NG, I haven't found a use for that knock-up item yet. Try that all from movement speed. Focus crystal is no joke. No, Scorpion was a good choice as well because the fire applies those stacks super quickly. Alright. Still haven't seen one of those new altars. Okay, well, that's just free anyway.
That's <laughs> okay. I'll grab it. I had to do it point blank. This is why Chef struggles, like against brass contraptions and this kind of enemy. Ooh, okay. I know that has diminishing returns, but getting a few of them is pretty good. Because it does affect cooldown. Um, I'll go with this. Get more damage on the boss. This is probably the number one bug they need to fix right away is this, like the item highlights. It's not just that you can't tell, like, what rarity it is, it's just harder to see what item it is in certain stages. with that. <laughs> Man, he really is slow. Like, any other... Well, with the exception of Multi, most other characters with this amount of drinks would be zooming way quicker than this. There was a scrapper. So I do want to trade that. Ow. <laughs> Using that. Oh, no, I don't think I can make that jump. Maybe this one. Okay, I did. <laughs> Just one problem. There we go. Double jump is the only thing I'm missing, and then I'm good. Hang on to the scrap. I don't think a single syringe is worth it yet. At 
we'll hang, hang on to it because we've got an encrusted key. Maybe I'll get Wongus from it. Damn it. No yellow. That would have been nice. I seem to be getting all the the old stages. Ah, oh, it moved as I shot that. Yeah, move out of this. Alright, it's probably going to be like just under 5,000 if I'm not wrong. At this point. Ooh, um, probably this. this back. Wow, that didn't do much. <laughs> okay, move away. <laughs> I just wanted to earn money quickly. I'll be back. I'm too low on health. Why chef's a little bit of a struggle. Use fire damage instead.
There we go. Alright, we got enough. Okay, no, that's good. That helps deal with that sort of thought we're okay. <laughs> Thanks, game. Especially with um, a focus crystal centric build, that means the slam is going to do quite a bit of damage. Great. Tried. It's so hard to do now because of the stupid item highlight bug. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um yeah. I don't I don't need to say anything, I don't think. That's most of the stuff. Uh, what have we got here? Guillotine. Did I see a green printer anywhere? Can't remember. I'll have a quick look. I don't think I did. Yeah, that was just that one. Alright, no green printer. That was fun. Oh, what's that? Drone. There we go.
Ow, go through the portal before I die. <laughs> Okay. Oh, whoa, this is new. I haven't seen this yet. Huh. Okay. I haven't seen this stage yet, so this is cool. Alright, the one positive thing about the DLC is like the stage design is excellent. And the music. The music's always been on point. Yeah, I need to be careful. Gotta remember that at the end of the day I shouldn't be fighting those things so close. Ah. Damn it. I should have just let it be. I wonder if I should mess around with this one more. Like, I tried it for one run and... Nah, it just wasn't as good as this. This just applies... A lot of debuff. Whereas in this... I mean... It makes the right click really good. This questionable at best. So I don't know. I'll just stick to the default. heck of a thing to have to fight on the first stage. I guess I don't divide as much. I just noticed a new thing. You hear thunder rumbling. I'm not sure. I'm guessing that means the altar's on the stage somewhere. Um, we'll go for this. <laughs> it's just so slow. Uh Okay, yeah. Um, in my experience, because I've, I've tried it once on the first stage, it makes it really hard to achieve it. Definitely need to get this. Oh, I know what I can do.
mm, not what I want. <laughs> At least it's it was like a free free roll. It's not bad to have this anyway. It's just not anything that's contributing to damage yet. I'll leave that there for a minute. Hmm, I'll hang on to that. Definitely gotta re-roll that. Ah, both of them. I guess I can bring it with me and just do it with the scrap. What are these starting items? Yeah, I mean, I'll just straight up grab that. Otherwise, I'm wasting time. Uh, yep, just grab it. That's fine. remember where the altar is on this stage. I haven't played much of this stage, so I haven't gotten used to it yet. I gotta go. Is it here? I'm just gonna go. Nice, that's what we want. All right, I'm just going. taking it. I don't have time for rerolls. What the hell? What launched me that far?
All right, I got this is a plan B. Okay, time to go. It's a shame I couldn't go. Oh, that flicker. Wait, is that? Oh. Okay, we don't. Nice. Good trade. Ah! I think a heavy character like Chef slow. Should not be allowed to be kicked that far. I'm fine with certain characters having slower move speeds because they're heavier. But it should come at a benefit, not just like a always a downside. I guess. What is this? Nah, we're good. Yeah, I'll take the apple. That's good defense. Oh, no, that's actually beautiful. Amazing. That's great. Um, I'll grab it. I already got one. Yeah, I risked it. Just having two of them, uh, I'd rather gamble and get a different one. I don't mind resonance disc. That's why. Beautiful.
think I'm a little afraid here. Okay, I need to go get the thing. Ooh. Whoops. things. Ah! What killed me? It was the pest, right? Yeah. Ugh. Um. I'll still, I'm still, like, on a mood that I want to win a chef. But again, his biggest drawback is the, the way the cleaver works. It's not necessarily... The concept of like having limited cleavers it's more that i think the cooldown the way cooldowns work on it need to change just the moment the cleaver is back in your hand the cooldown should get reset on that stack then you can do short range cleaver attacks without being punished and it gives reason for the long range one We'll just straight up remove the cooldown system, like, I, I don't know why. Even if it... Even if you were to reduce the damage of the cleaver overall just so you can spam it, I'd rather that. This is a bad stage. <laughs> There's this many printers. Um, I'm probably going to be starved for items here. Oh my, are you kidding? Four printers. This is why I don't like Distant Roost as a stage. Because when you have this happen to you... You really get star for items. Like what, I have... The one at the start... And then this, this try shop, that's all I have as choice. I'll grab this for now. Okay, there's another chest down there. It looks like there's a couple. I'll stop for bleed.
Okay, I need to take drone. I think at this point, grabbing... Okay, yeah, that works. I don't have faith in this, <laughs> given how much items I have. Let's try it. Horrible, horrible start. But, yeah, I mean, what is Chef supposed to do against that many things in the air shooting at it? Uh, again, just talking about the cleaver. Alright, that's better. It's one of these things that I'm sure a bunch of people have said before is, like, the printers should not count as, like, an item spawn slot. Like, there's a certain number of stuff that spawns on a stage. I think the printers should not count towards that, because you have scenarios like that where it's just, like, the stage... 80% of the items are printers, and then you kind of only get a couple of usable items as a result. Um, I'll get the roll of pennies just so money rolls in quicker. Alright, that's that's not bad. I'll take that. This can be good. on purpose there just to get some money. Ah, uh, bad luck. Alright, I'll be back. Um, nude altar is up high. I won't be able to get it. This took shrine of the mountain. I mean, do I dare? It would be funny. I suppose if I'm going to do that, I should do that sooner rather than later. All right, let's go for it. Oh, 
that is probably not repl not worth replacing skill. All right, let's see how this goes. This is gonna be funny. Oh god, no, nah, I'm screwed. I played myself. <laughs> I could maybe win. I'm not even aiming for them, like I'm aiming for their friends. I just need to be in a position to be ready. I didn't think so. <laughs> it's alright. Like, I need to get to the void area anyway. Keep getting these. <laughs> All right, that's good. Got heal. Dude, you can't even see which one you're hovering over. That's how bad this bug is. <laughs> There's only three items I'm going to have, aside from the green. 
the rest of Gambles. Unfortunate. Of all the things to get in equipment. Oh, there's still this. Okay. Good. Alright, well, this is as good as I can probably get for now. I'll have one more roll on that one. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. That's an acceptable amount of items. Here we go. The other one spawned on high ground, didn't it? Oh, no, it's a good. Okay, one down. item. Okay, there we go. We good. That's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay. those because they're not too much of a downside. And I know how to play with like a reduced area.
I don't know. I get the feeling there's going to be cleansing pools and it'd be great. good and bad. Yeah, now this this feels more familiar. This feels like Eclipse. But the advantage of this... I don't have to survive as long. see where. Usually if you don't see where, it's most likely back here. It's not that. So we go forward. Oh, I got I got the wisp equipment with me. Right. Then it's fine. I don't have to stress. No concern. I don't think the cleavers do... Like, if I was to make it hover like this, I don't think they keep doing damage. I think it's just contact damage. Which, again, I, I kind of question why you want to make it spin like that. It'd be cool if it did that. But I don't think it does. Um, focus crystal. Can't see it. Okay, over that. Could be problematic. We'll see. One attack. Yeah, it does. Yeah. The oh, hang on. No, it does seem to do it. This is what I want to test is like okay there is no why why is this a thing then why would you want to hold your cleaver out if it doesn't do consistent contact damage or constant or consistent then they absolutely should make it so the cooldown isn't a thing. And we'll just get rid of the mechanic. Just make it go max distance every time. Because there's no... There's no reward for doing that. It does nothing. It'd be a different story if like, I could aim it on the ground like that. And just kind of revolve around it. 
but it does one point of contact damage and that's it. Now that I see it, I'm like, why is it a thing? I don't get it. Usually when you have attacks like that in games, like, and you're recalling a projectile that you can hold and make it spin, when it's spinning, it keeps doing damage. It's like the chakram kind of weapon. Okay, well... I think if they made those two changes to it, where the cool it comes off cooldown when the knife return or the cleaver returns to you, and the cleaver is treated like a chakram, so then if you hold it out in air, they'll keep doing contact damage. That would make this feel a lot better. Is that gas. No, it's fo Ooh, focus crystal printer again. Um, I'll go with this. I didn't... Am I not remembering this? Or don't ban as... Maybe it's the teleporter event, but I thought they updated it so for these, you get a banner the moment you start this. Maybe I'm wrong. Fuel cell. Just because there's an equipment barrel here. checking out all the chests I got since it's not really a concern about time anymore. Okay.
How bad is this going to be? I guess we'll see. Rats with shurikens. Oh. Maybe they only do it when they go take the bite. Which I guess gives me a minute. this. Ooh, they got Shattering Justice. to go for this. This is like <laughs> a brainer. Alright, let's do some scrapping. some of the stuff I won't need in favor of focus crystals One thing that I saw that was a bit of feedback that people thought that it was a bit lazy just to put the items on the rolling pin. Instead of, I don't know, trying to put them onto the character itself.
Oh, there was a big chest there. I didn't even notice. Well then. Oh, there it is. I probably can get APG just to add to this. I need more things that hit on proc. for this. So if I can make it happen. That is visions, which isn't necessarily a bad item to grab, but I'm gonna avoid it. as well.
I think that's already it. I want to see if I can get like a second gesture. That's it already. What is that? Oh, I didn't find the lockbox. You should probably look for that. Looking in the most common spots. Over there, I see it. Okay. Wait a sec here. Yeah. I know I didn't grab it, but just waiting for this to go off. There we go. Because I don't want to attack this dude. Do it again. No gesture, but that's okay. Um, that's not worth going in on. All right, we're out.
the start. Guess there is a scrapper. main threat. Ooh, nice. Um, where is it? This. Excellent thing to get. Oh god, <laughs> my pillow so bad. Okay, we're fine. Any double jump. Another leech seed? Okay. Nasty. I'm kind of hard relying on on the rockets. Okay, what is this? No. I was hoping for egg. Then I can fly and get the um the new to altar.
making sure this one is. Oh, there. Got it. Okay. me I guess isn't necessarily a problem at least not yet I wonder if they're smart enough to make their way down here if they're going to fall into the pit and die. Well, either way, I'm safe. Thank you. Oh, nice. Couldn't have asked for anything else. back off before I go in here. I'm looking for ICBM. No ICBM. Okay. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. I'm doing it. Novel leaf seat. All right, I'll get rid of it. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, more leech seeds. Do it. That's five leech seeds. I didn't know these things could appear. It's this character so slow. Ugh. a lot very quickly. We <laughs> healing rack, all right. I'll take healing rack. Is that another one? Oh my god. Triple. You need a vanish right? No worries. All good. That means the newt altar is like off the side here. Right? Oh, it's not. Did I miss it? Wait, if it's not here, where is it? Yeah, one more look. It wasn't up the top.
has to be down that side path. Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm not sure I can get it. Whoa. Okay, hang on. Be careful. I'll probably get it. It just needs to be like a little bit of a... There we go. Just have to angle it correctly. For this fight, I'm probably going to have to run immediately. This is, what, quadruple mountain train? Oh, that's not bad. Already got one down. Let it go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Empathy cause. Um, I can't remember if there was a scrapper. Hang on. It's not that they're a bad item, it's just. I can't give Mithrix that item. I think that's a scrapper. Unfortunately, it was four left on daisies, but whatever. Ah, <laughs> get up! Just need a single feather. Was the best result I could have hoped for. Perfect. I gambled and won.
Oh good, another mountain shrine. <laughs> As if I didn't have enough of that already. That visions of heresy, yeah. Ow. Ah, oh, moving speed. Okay, I just need a scrapper. Got the uh the boss killer. Hopefully I can scrap that. Okay, well, definitely going that, but not yet. So far, so good. I don't think I'm gonna get to scrap, which ugh, empathy cause. Oh, fuel cell, nice. Reduce that cooldown even more. Probably not a bad idea just to get that. The second life. Q. 
Plus. That's a good way to get rid of Empathy Core. Oh good, another Leaf Seed. This just to one shot the boss. Oh, God, it's another empathy call. Down. It's not bad. This Lemurian needs to die. Gary. I might actually go for visions. It just seems easier to get things off with it. Ugh, I'm not too excited about the movement speed. Go visions of heresy. Ah, oh, that's better. Just going to continue. I don't even have jump, double jump. This might be a problem for this stage. We shall see. See what the items are. Just 
just ignore it. Let the rockets do the work. Um, actually, I should probably do this first. these things. Go. Fail. I don't know how a chef is supposed to stand up against that thing with a cleaver. It has to hit heavy. Meat hook. at it. I didn't see what the other item was. one's back. Keep moving. That thing can't be a pain if it doesn't hit me. <laughs> One of my probes died. Delete that thing. Can I really not? Okay, there we go. Holy crap. Done. My focus convergence definitely helps. Definitely concerned about this. Just, my move speed is way too slow. I don't have double jump. Yep. 
Nar good. Where is he? So far, so good. Ow. Now, I laugh about the leech seeds, but it's actually coming in handy a little bit. Just a little bit. surprisingly well. Ooh, this might be... This might be scary. I hate pizza time. I hate pizza time.
All right. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if the empathy cause screw me over. Clean victory. Just gotta get the right. I got this. <laughs> Despite moving really slowly, I got this. There we go. Uh, okay, stay on. Chain reaction. Hey, there we go. Finally, <laughs> victory. That took a while. gonna say and so it left unchanged in every way okay Feels good to win, and I got... Oh, that's cool. Okay, I got the alternate skin. Um, let's go... Oh no, but I got the one for you, so then... I guess that just leaves this. Kill 15 enemies with one activation of the laser. Okay. That should happen on its own with density.
feels good to play a character that can actually move. Actually has movement ability. I appreciate how evasive this character can be. trying. I'll probably go back to Gamble at the end, but for now. Slam. Uh oh. All right, that's not bad. Ooh, coin.
quite there. I mean... I don't know if it'll actually give me much. Come on. Okay. Okay. Worth. Might get this just to have as a blue item to maybe trade. Plus, I imagine like a razor wire tincture build would be good on this character too. one of the worst enemies to get. I suppose I could have that to fall back on. I need to get a plate. See what's in this shop. Knockback fin. Crit. Okay. I got the crit. Nice. Okay, good. I should probably wait for regen just a little bit. I just worry they're gonna get something annoying <laughs> being on this much health. Um, hmm. So I'll, I'll wait 30 seconds. Uh. All right, that should be good enough. That's okay. That's fine. unfortunately make them more annoying to take out.
Um, this one. Where are we going? Sorry, I'm gonna have to wait. It's way too low health. It wouldn't be risk of rain without having to wait. I'll let it go until I have, like, I don't know, 450. That should be enough. Just so we're not waiting around as much. That's a good. Take long to reach now.
That's not bad. over there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that's not good. The beetles can proc that. At least this one's on high ground. I worry what's next. Razor wire for sure. Okay, I've got the razor wire tincture build now.
Oh. Um. I fell off. I guess this is it, huh? There's nothing that they proc, so it, that should be okay. There's nothing luck based about what they're doing. None of these are exactly great. Probably this, right? I still got a raise a while, I think she build. Okay. I mean, safer space is probably bad for that, but it's not like I'm gonna hang on to it and rely on it for the win. I guess that's it. I don't see anything else. Alright. Raise a lot. This is what this is useful for. We
Alright. Okay, cool. That makes that even better. Nice. Just keep going with the crowbar. Good for this as well. Not sure I'm gonna get a chance to. Oh, okay. Kill 15 things with one charge of this beam. That to pretty much be in a straight line. The razor wire and this reflect item. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> Just... Yeah, okay. No, good work. Takes as one of them to shoot me. I got this. Oh, that one that was after me already. Already died.
I think I like this character a bit more than Chef now. As much as I don't want to say that. <laughs> much money. Thank you. Didn't I see a void cradle? Or am I imagining it? done just these two oh and that one uh i need to scrap that best way to get this alternate skill is to loop then there's more odds of having like a line of enemies in a row oh there is a void cradle i thought so there it is um yeah i don't see any reason why not Oh, okay. <laughs> Shrimp, this beam is really good. Alright, let's go. If I can get a slam. No. <laughs> oh, no, it worked. Wow. Okay. I thought it wasn't going to work. Mm. 
nice. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. And that tincture kind of goes against shrimp, but it's still fine. If they got transcendence or something, then yeah, I won't anymore. Grove, eh? Void seed, eh? Gotta deal with this quickly. Ooh, that is not good. I just saw what happened. I think the boss is a void boss. Ow. That's really bad. That is probably one of the worst things that could have happened. To approach it that way. close. Don't get hit by that laser. Scary. Got it. Oh, what now? Really? Okay, one more, where is it? It's there. I'm going, I'm going for it. Salt. Good. All right. Yep. 
probably it. Really? What <laughs> survived? Alright, I'm gonna go look for the big one. Okay, okay. Not bad. Curious if that has any effect on on you. So let's do this. <laughs> Quick assassination. Let's see if I can get Transcendence, because that'll really round off this build. Or round out this build. IBCM. Catalyst. Interesting.
I think that was an equipment barrel somewhere. Maybe I'm wrong. I swear I saw one. Oh, there's a scrapper here. That's good. It's even better. going to generate five green scraps. I already had five. Okay, well, that's fine. Just do that. No, I don't see an equipment barrel, but that's fine. There's Transcendence. Okay, well, I got one of the things I wanted. So, I have not beaten this level. This might have the unique yellow. stage. shouldn't grab that because that's going to make things worse instead of better. Okay, well. 
fine. Let him do that. <laughs> See you later. I wonder if this is anything. It's like this broken sword here. It's gonna keep climbing. I don't see anything that's of value, really. item that like increases damage on low health so I guess transcendence doesn't proc it okay let's see what that is now stage. I guess I've seen everything the needs. I thought there'd be a secret or something at the top of the stage. Many of these little dudes. Like I want kills, but they're not letting me kill them. There we go. There is a crit right now, but there's no scrapper. Okay, 
Okay, where's the teleporter? I saw it around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Thirty percent soul. What the heck is that? That's new. I'm not sure what this did. Children, come here. Not really sure what that did. That's oh, gone now. Weird. Not bad, not bad. damage anymore. Ah, damn it. Oh, well. I've gotten more used to this character. And how to do the club move. I think it, it definitely plays a bit better than Chef does. Alright, uh, I think that's enough for now. Like, I got a win out of it. Um, but next time I'll probably continue with this character. Alright, well, that'll do it for today's Risk of Rain session. If you were checking this out later as a replay, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you enjoyed. If you want to support the channel, just click the like button. Helps a lot. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching.